Well, the, the estimate uh, for autism spectrum disorders, which includes autistic disorder, Asperger's, a, a variety of developmental problems, uh, is about 1 in 110 births. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fairly common. Mm -hmm. What this study uh, has helped us to understand, though, is the sort of the additional risk that a family would face if they already have an autistic child and then they, they have another child. Um, that risk had been estimated somewhere in the usually under 10 percent. One study found as high as maybe 14 percent, but this one is saying 18.7 percent of families that already have an autistic child will have another one. Mm -hmm. Is that considered high? That's it's, it's higher than the estimates that we were typically giving to families, and, mm -hmm. and it's also, also very important that a family knows what their risk is in general. Now, of course, we can't say specifically for any individual family or couple no what their risk is no test we don't know exactly the genetic makeup of you know what constitutes or what what causes the uh, the disorder mm -hmm. but you know that's all things that are being researched right now do we know that it is a genetic disorder uh, it's not purely a genetic disorder in fact the theory is that it's some combination of genes and environment but the fact that you're seeing this familial connection suggests that genes do play a part all right what about the sex of the baby that's another thing that they found in this study and just reconfirmed. We know that it's more common in boys. In this study, if you already have a child with autism and you have a boy, that boy is three times more likely to have autism than if you had a girl. Okay. Uh, what should parents do? What can they look out for uh, for signs of autism in their children? Right. So we know that autism, basically, there are deficits in three major areas. Social interaction, language, and behavior. So some of the key warning signs uh, include a failure to respond to, to the child's name when, they're, when you call them. Um, they appear to be unaware of other people's feelings. They uh, resist cuddling and holding. They develop ritualistic behaviors. There, there are a lot of either milestones that are missed or unusual behaviors that tend to become apparent. So, you know, most children go to see either a family doctor or a pediatrician, and it's so important because that doctor can then monitor the milestones as you go, but parents spend, obviously spend the most time with their kids, and they will often know when there's something not quite right. If you suspect something, absolutely take your child to the doctor. Why is it important to get a diagnosis early? The earlier you make the diagnosis, the sooner you can get that child into special care, special education, therapy. We know that kids who, uh, autistic kids who get into those situations earlier tend to do better. They tend to develop more functionality as they get older. And, you know, with, with any luck, they'll be able to live productive lives.